Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamore here, and this week we have a battle versus Brandon of the Memphis uh, Maniacs. Yeah, there we go. Memphis Maniacs out here on the field, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this party started right. So we're gonna go ahead and go send out Mabel and Lumiere first. I'm assuming uh, Whimsicott's coming, and uh, last week I know he sent out Sizzler, but he could send in a uh, Porygon or Torkoal, I mean Umbreon, a bunch of bulky mons on his side this week. And uh, I think we got enough wall breakers to get through. So we're going to go ahead and start off with that lead. Our goal bat is the defensive set. Our chandelier is offensive and we're going to see how this goes. So good luck, have fun, Bruno. And uh, let's see if uh, Chartridge could start off a season 2-0. and Alright, Scizor and Whimsicott lead. So Mabel and Lumiere are out here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and Tailwind up. Turn 1. So we match the uh, so we match the speed tiers, and we're gonna go ahead and heat wave here. Let's see if he decides to switch out that sizzler, and he doesn't. Whimsicott goes for the tailwind. Sizzler decides to swords dance here, and we go ahead and get our tailwind up as well. And let's see what the heat wave does here. Heat Wave hits both, and Whimsicott goes down, but Scizor is sashed. Alright, but both teams have our, um, our Tailwinds up. So let's see how, how fast that thing actually is there. All right, well, Torkoal is coming out here. So we're going to go ahead and Super Fang that thing. That uh, It's going to hit us pretty hard here. And let's go ahead and go for another Heat Wave. Torkoal goes Protect. Let's see what um, Scizor does. Goes for the Bullet Punch on Golbat. We take it pretty well for our plus two. Super Fang doesn't go into Torkoal. But we do get a Heat Wave off. And it looks like it takes down the Scizor. So Scizor is down. So, so far, two kills for Chandelier. Not too bad. Not too shabby. He did punch a hole into Golbat, but we I do believe we have Roost on it. Not entirely remembering what we had. But we will be super fanging both these powerful mons he has on the other side of the field. Um, I feel it's more important to... Uh, let's see. Because he can get Trick Room up here and that could be a problem for us. So I'm going to go ahead and taunt the Porygon. And I'm going to... I'm going to Dark Pulse the Torkoal. Hopefully get a flinch here. Oh, he straight up maxes the Porygon Z, I'm assuming. Yep, Porygon Z. I mean, Porygon 2. What am I... Porygon Z. My bad. But at least we get the Taunt off, so... I don't know. <laughs> I think the taunt's going to wear off before the Dynamax does. But let's go ahead and see if we can get this flinch here with Dark Pulse. Alright, Max Phantasm goes off into Lumiere here. And we're living! Let's see if uh, the flinch gets through. <clears throat> Alright, 
<clears throat> and it does. Beautiful for us. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go for the Super Fang on Porygon 2. And we're also going to go... We're going to go for the Dark Pulse again. So we get some RNG in our favor there. Super Fang doesn't do as much as I thought it would. I guess because it doubles its HP. We technically do a fourth. But Torkoal is going down there and... Max Lightning seems to be taking out our gold bat here. So whatever Torkoal goes for, if it goes through, it's knocking us out. And it does go through and it goes Heat Wave. We did not bring Flash Fire this week. All right, both Tailwinds have uh, went out. And now we're going to go ahead and get our Frosty Freeze lead. We got Jill Frost and Sonic Freeze. Hitting the field and hell is going to go up. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the Aurora Veil up. And let's go ahead. This is Dynamax here. We're going to Dynamax because I feel with the Roar Veil will live. The uh, hit from Torkoal. And we're going to go ahead and take out that Porygon too. Hopefully. <laughs> that thing is bulky, but this is a super effective move. It's Life Orb. And we're also maxed as well. It'll at least boost our attack. He'll probably double into the Sonic though. <sighs> Torkoal goes Protect here. So even better for us. He didn't go for the Fire type move. We get our Roravel off. Max Knuckles is going to pop off and see how much it does to Porygon 2. Does about uh, a quarter damage. But I don't believe um, Porygon has uh, a fire coverage move. Unless it does. We'll see. But we do get Veil up. So we should be able to live any hit. And he just goes for the Max Phantasm here on the Jill Frost. It looks like that turn couldn't have turned out any better. So it does lower our defense, but our attacks are up. Torkoal's going to take some hell damage as well. And Porygon 2 is no longer Dynamax, so this next hit should knock it out. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Moonblast on Torkoal. It's really low red, so it should take it out. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Max Knuckle on Porygon Z. I mean Porygon 2, I don't know why I keep saying Z. But here we go, Max Knuckle at plus one. Takes down that Porygon, no problem there. And the snow is real. Lost some HP. Moonblast is going to pop off into the Torkoal. Should take it down. And it does. So now we have two Pokemon left to deal with. And still have one more turn of Dynamax as well. Of course, Umbreon is a really specially defensive Pokemon. But we also have Minshaw to worry about here. Uh, I'm going to go for the Moonblast on the Minshaw. And I'm going to go Max Guard here, predicting a... A fighting move. Does it get vacuum wave? I don't think it does. Uh, me and Shao. Just want to be sure before I click a move here. It gets Aura Sphere. Does not get vacuum wave. So you know what? I'm actually going to attack here. So I'm going to go Moonblast into Mianxiao. 
And I'm going to go Max Knuckle into the Umbreon. So let's see if we can get another kill here with Sonic. And beautiful, we do. Umbreon goes down, no problem. Jill Frost should be faster. I'm not too entirely sure. Rock Slide, Min Chao chooses to go with, and Jill Frost goes down. So we are lowered by one H one Pokemon. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go Punk Rock here. Mainly for Obstruct. Because you know that thing's faster. We still have Hell on our side though, so we're faster there. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Obstruct here. I'm assuming he's going to try to knock out Punk Rock at least to get another kill. And we're going to go ahead and... We're plus two. We should be able to kill with anything. I'm just going to go Iron Head for, to not miss. It's neutral damage. Obstruct goes off. Iron Head comes out. Takes down the Mien Shao, And we win our Week 2 match. GG to Bruno. And the Memphis Maniacs. Alright guys. We got, uh, we ranked third this season. And 2-0 start is great. See you guys next week.